Hi, this is Sachin Kaur. How are you? Fine. Okay. Dear students, uh, in the last classes we learned about that the the in this second chapter that is the different forms of the mass formations. Okay. Under that we learned the sole proprietorship, yes, the partnership and the company in them and the uh, cooperative societies as well as the joint and the family business. Okay. Yes. Then. In the today's lecture, we will directly move through with the, the another one new chapter that is chapter number third that we call for the private, public and global enterprises. Okay, this one is the extended part of that the second chapter. Okay, yes. Under this, the uh, private and the public sectors are remain same and the one more thing that is introduced here that is global enterprise okay so global enterprise in that we learn that the mncs okay in that the global enterprise we learn about what the mnc the mnc is that means multinational corporations okay yes then uh, here uh, one thing is happens here see uh, in the third chapter the uh, private sector is a remain same as as per that the second chapter and uh, in this chapter in the in that the third chapter we learn detail about the, the public sector as well as the global sector okay yes then uh, in uh, second chapter do mundu varida bhaga yav ide ipo ante idu third chapter ide so third chapter dalli ili ene concept galu bartavu ante idu private company public company and global enterprise okay so our third second chapter the mundu varta bhaga illo extended part in par andre global enterprise okay global enterprise andre illi nam yen learn martivi andre mnc is badale yen martivi andre learn martivi mnc is andre multinational corporations okay so bahu rashtriya company galu debate yes so adara badale yen martivi andre illi nam yen martivi andre learn martivi and one of the uh, in a private sector badale agi private sector ಆಗಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ which concepts or which forms of business formation covered under that the private sectors that means the sole proprietors the partners the joint family family joint family business yes the cooperative societies and private companies are covered under the what the private okay private sector and in a public sector it's on the extended part for our uh, part for in your third chapter okay yes then uh, in the in this easy third chapter the name of the public the public sectors the name of the public sectors as well as local enterprises the detail like the name of the private sector and the name of the already second chapter the name of the detail like the name of the name okay yes then uh, in the today's lecture in what another just we see the just heavy on that the private public and the global enterprises okay under which the which types or which forms of business are mentioned covered under the private and public and global enterprise okay then uh, in the next classes we go through with the detailed manner by taking the each component okay yes then in ye nodanre ee class nalli just ye nodanre heading anna brief agi tegidukondu hogana andre private sector dalli yavu forms of business organization bartavu amale public dalli yavu forms of business organization covered aagutavu adwa then global enterprise dalli yenu barutare just we see that the headings yes heading badale yenu ondu brief note okay just let me see today we are going to do brief note about that the headings of that the forms of business organization then uh, in the next class we will learn about prati one component we will take a detailed manner we will go over okay yes then uh, let's see the chart as per the indian economy let's see the chart then uh, in indian economy the companies are broadly or the uh, business sectors are broadly categorized into two types so one is public sector and another one is private sector okay so in india the enterprises of that day or the sectors or the business sectors are broadly categorized into two types which are there that is one is public
public sector and the one is private sector then sir so what it means that public sector that means here the sector which is owned and run by the public that is called the public sector okay yes so agar is a public sector andre enu andre yavara one sector the odetana mattu adanna nirvahane madu athwa adondu nadisikondu hogudu activity yav public hatira iratta government hatira iratta anta onda sector ge anta ondu ondu company ge anta ondu as our business sector ge we can you know public sector anta kaltivi and its opposite is a private sector its opposite is what the private sector then private sectors that means what the uh, sector such a sector is owned and run by the private persons or the private individuals okay yes private sector and you know uh, and right in the a sector the business activity the business sector do odetana matto adanna nadisikondu hogudu yara ka kayalli iratta andre kasagi vyaktigal kayalli iratta ಅಂತಹ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಗೆ ನಾವು ಏನು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕೆಟಗರೈಸ್ ಬಂದು ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೂರು ವಿಧಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಥವಾ ಮೂರು ಭಾಗಗಳಾಗಿ ನಾವು ವಿಂಗಡಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಎಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆಟಗರಿ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ then what it means that departmental undertakings that means such a department works under uh, the government that means as a ministry of that the government it works under that the government okay then uh, here one more thing is happen uh, about that the work, uh, departmental undertakings there is no separate legal entity from the government that means here the uh, such a departments are fully owned and controlled and managed by the or as well as be run by the government okay that may be central government or state government okay that may be central government or state government then there is no any autonomous uh, autonomous body or there is no any statutory body or there is no any separate legal entity that means here the fully control of those departments is within the hand of the government okay that may be what the central government or the state government then uh, sir what are the examples for that the departmental undertakings that means the indian railway okay uh, telegraph etc are covered under that the departmental undertakings okay yes uh, departmental undertakings are you know, you uh, as a ministry the government under the like, work maartta avu helthivi and uh, here yen agutta padre yavade rithiya one separate legal entity irudilla autonomous irudilla statutory body irudilla ivrige one separate aduntha one yen one kaanu avu separate aduntha one one autonomous avrige one thanade aduntha one adhikara ee department galige irudilla anta avu galige yen kartivi departmental undertakings anta kartivi then undertakings that means here yen agutta padre ಆ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗಳ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಡಿತನ ಯಾರು ಇರುತ್ತಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ದಿ ಗೋರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಗೋರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅದು ಇರತ್ತ ಇನ್ನು ಅದು ಗೋರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗೋರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಇಲ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೋರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ವಿಚ್ ಅವರ್ ಯಾವ ಬೇಕಾದಾಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗೋರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಒಡಿತನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೋರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಶಲಿನೂ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಒಡೆತನದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಒಂದು ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತ ಅಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಅಂಡರ್ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಒಂದು ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ಗಳು ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಏನು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಇವು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ಗಳೇನು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ಗಳೇನು ಅಂದರೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಟೆಲಿಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇವುಗಳು ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನಾವು ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಒಡಿತನ ಯಾವುದು ದಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಾರು ಅದನ್ನು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೋ ಅಥವಾ ಯಾರು ಅದನ್ನು ಅದರ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನು ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಯಾರು ಅಂಡರ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡೋದಂದರೆ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಿ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್
Yes. Then uh, next one, statutory corporation. Yes. Then statutory corporation slightly different from the that the departmental undertakings. That means here the statutory uh, corporations have the separate legal entity. The statutory corporations have the separate legal entity. That means here they have the statutory power. They have the autonomous power. Okay, which which uh, which parts of activity? That is statutory corporation or statutory corporation sector. Okay, yes. A statutory corporation, sir, you know, you got it. When the statutory power is there, when the autonomous power is there, you got to be able to do it. Separate legal entity of the TV. Yes. So, some activity girl may there. Some the other one to legal girl. Some the other one to control girl. Control girl. So, it is one. Ah, you know, our government may there different type of girl. Ya, who the statutory corporation girl girl TV. Ya, who the department undertakings girl. Some poor na government they you know control girl. Ah, there. In the statutory corporation girl, our body. ये हम तो सेक्टर कॉर्पोरेशन में कहते हैं वो हम सेक्टर करते हैं अली याद है आर की अली गवर्नमेंट का डायरेक्ट इंपैक्ट योर दिला ओके सो आप सेक्टर की बॉडी ये हम बोलते हैं तुमरे ताना ये हम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन देखो सो ताना हम तो पावर है हम लोग ताना ताने संस्थित के अंदर ये तो कंडीशन MHRD, MHRD that means Ministry of Human Resource Development. Okay, so under that the uh, lot of the sectors, lot of the statutory corporations work. For example, UGC is there. Okay, UGC that is United uh, University Grant Commission. Okay, NTA is there. Okay, so likewise, we need a one NTA. Yes. National Testing Agency is going to be So likewise, you know, all the agencies go to work in the world Work in the world, the statutory sectors go to work in the world And they have the statutory power, the autonomous power to frame their own rules and regulations of their team Okay, yes, this is our thought, the statutory corporation The next one, government companies, yes Then, which are the government companies, that means in the previous class I'll be learning about that this type of chapter uh, while we under that I'll be learning about the deep types of the companies we learn that for private sector and public sector okay then uh, here public companies that means those companies which are registered or incorporated under the the companies act 2013 those are called the what the public company okay yes so last question now note the only other second chapter under that types of the companies got a note because of three point note the we have to do private sector and public public company okay yes then public company under the name yama company under the yama the 2013 new companies are now the 2013 so e companies are under the name registered idea so antara company ye in kaltv public company of Kaltivya Adwa or any previous rules of the Kaltivya or registered under the any previous rules previous laws of the Kaltivya and then this company and under the law of the Kaltivya is the law under the law of the Kaltivya for example this is the law of the Kaltivya of the Kaltivya of the Kaltivya of the Kaltivya ok so that 1956 is amended and presently there is a new company that 2030 and then in the previous law under that 1956 I get to do as well presently under the 2013 I get to do then how can under the lead I act under the lead your company incorporate I get to register I get to and the company get to be public company at the country ok yes uh, this is about what the public sector then let's see the uh, private sector then a uh, private sector is categorized into uh, the again here see firstly sole proprietorship is there okay we learned that also okay then uh, partnership is there joint family 
businesses that uh, cooperative societies are there and companies that may be public limited private limited and another one is next extended part is multinational corporations okay which are covered under the word the private sector okay yes then uh, in the second chapter we learned that the different forms of business organization okay so then what is what do you mean by the sole proprietorship yes see the sole proprietorship is nothing but what the proprietorship such a proprietorship is formed by the sole person or individual okay and there is no any the legal restrictions for that the that the sole proprietorship for okay then uh, in the in yeah the second chapter the lino detail agi note kon bandi we just to see that brief manner really so sole proprietorship and the ali kevala oba vyakti en martana re business anna start martana helthivi aa business anna run martana helthivi and ali yavade separate you know adike adanta ondu rules and regulations galu illa anta helthivi and next one the partnership yes the partnership for means uh it corporate or the registered under the partnership act 
that type of company or that type of corporation is called MNC. MNC that means multinational corporation. Okay? Yes. Then MNC is the one who 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 is Worldwide countries are linked in one of the So, work mother, that we call here what the MNC is in the uh, that the free manner. If you go through that the specific manner, there are different different types of them. Okay, so that is global enterprise is there, MNC is there, okay, uh, transnational corporations are there. Okay, so uh, we if you go through and go through with that the specific manner, they have the separate or specific meanings but generally for us we treat that MNC is as a global enterprise just a common information for you okay then uh, and Yavagamu uh, higher study you will learn that in the detailed manner but for your abuse uh, purpose just we learn that the just a common manner that is MNC as treating as what the global enterprise is okay yes then uh, start again the headquarters to one different different days so that it can branch from the open money from the operation at the end of the business activity and the model on the on the concern again on the corporation again by the way and one more thing is very important so only the parent country have the headquarters is not compulsory okay the concern can also establish its headquarter in any other countries also okay yes so, Kevala, Tan Nation, the Lipan parent, the one country, Rata, and the headquarter is like a dealer. So, very other they should go to the same time. I am in the same one, the headquarter and open mark. Okay, so there is no any uh, restrictions for that. Okay, uh, because the present is what the LPC era. Okay, that is called what the globalization, privatization, globalization. Okay, yes, that brings the flexible for that day. MNC corporations. Okay, so I even we are this year I am going to do one day. I am MNC corporation one day. Suddenly we are going to do this. Suddenly we are going to do this. Okay, yes. Uh, these are the what the brief information regarding the that the private sector, public sector as well as the global enterprises. Okay, yes. Then uh, in the next class we go through with the detailed manner by taking the each components. For example, uh, departmental undertakings, what are the features of departmental undertakings, what are the merits of departmental undertakings, what are the uh, demerits or limitations of under uh, departmental undertakings. Okay, we go through with that the detailed manner. Okay, yes. Then, uh, dear students, uh, if you have any doubts regarding this, please comment on this and I will clarify that. Okay.